All right, we are getting ready to do the cat filter conversion. My LB7 Duramax. So, I purchased the adapter as well, and it fits just just fine in there. So the oil finishes draining out, give it a couple more minutes, and then we'll remove the oil filter. Got a royal purple filter on there right now, it's been working pretty good for me. Uh, but cat filters are pretty awesome, so we're going to give that a try and hopefully everything fits and it can clear the front drive shaft like it has on other people's rigs. When we take that adapter, or when we take the old old oil filter off, um, I don't have the special tool to remove the adapter, so I'll probably just wrap it in the shop cloth and grab a big old wrench and try to back it out gently. Uh, this adapter is pretty neat because you can fit a half-inch driver in there and then just put her on in. Uh, don't over torque it is what the indirect the uh, instructions say just give it a good good tightening good uh, cinching down and we'll see we'll see how this works so oil since this requires 11 quarts now instead of 10 because of how big this filter is still got to go pick up another quart of oil but I got Two gallons or eight quarts of this Lucas, Lucas 15W40. I picked up a four pack on Amazon for a little over $100. It's my last two jugs. And then I'm going to do a quart of stick and eliminator, a quart of friction reducer. Then we'll go pick up another quart at the store. But next time you see this, Hopefully it'll be on the truck and everything will have fit perfect. Why am I switching from a standard OEM sized oil filter over to a cat filter? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, it's made by cat, so we know it has a really strong high quality medium really strong exterior also look at the size difference this actually requires a whole extra quart to run this in the extra in an adapter here I'll put on uh, that's the main reason I just I want better filtration more of it more lubricating power and this is actually cheaper than this I mean, this is royal purple, so it's kind of a nice filter. Um, but if you're looking for just a solid OEM replacement style of filter, I'd recommend this royal purple one. I'm running a royal purple filter in my old, old Chevy 350 as well. Uh, and if you found this video just looking for the right part number for the royal purple filter for your Duramax, uh, this one's an LB7. I'm not sure which other trucks use this, but I've ran this for about a year now, and it's served me well. If I weren't switching over to a cat, I would get another Royal Purple. Uh, they're tried and true brand. They make amazing synthetic oils, and again, I'm running the Royal Purple synthetic oil in the old Chevy here nothing wrong with them they are great and it's a great brand but we're gonna try switching over to this big guy here so that's why I'm switching over it's a bigger filter and one thing that these cat filters don't have that these ones have is these OEM style come with a bypass valve so when your oil pressure builds up to a certain point it will bypass your filter and just sludge all that crappy oil back into your engine. There is no bypass valve. It will always filter. That's 
that's big. You want to be running filtered oil through your engine, not not nasty shit full of uh, fine particles and metal pieces and whatever. So, go ahead and slap this on, see what happens. Update. So I wrap this cloth around the adapter and then used some channel locks to loosen it up, but it wasn't very gentle and I totally foobarred this adapter, so hopefully this one fits. It looks like it will. We'll see what happens. But they do make tools that will take the stock ones out a little easier. Thankfully the replacement will be pretty straightforward. So, just letting you know. And the new adapter fit went on pretty easy. Let's see if the oil filter fits. And there she is. Looking all pretty. There's just enough clearance. Went on. Nice and snug. So, we'll go ahead and cap her off there, refill it with oil, start it up. Okay, as my friend would say, let's see what it do. Oil pressure's looking good. It's still cold, so that's the cold oil pressure. No leaks. say it's a success. Um, I'll update the description after a while, after I've ran it, let you know what I think, and I'll leave uh, links to all the parts, all the Amazon links to all the parts in the description if you wanted to check them out for yourself and maybe do a conversion or Maybe you like that that royal purple oil filter and want to check that out. Uh, but I hope this helps somebody out there. And until next time, see you later.